Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. The horrors of real life animals living inside you are unimaginable. Take, for example, worms that lived inside the eye of a girl, or a cockroach that found its way inside a human head, or a spider tickling the insides of a man, or a fish blocking the urethra of a boy. Hang on with us. This video is going to be horrific and, well, a bit gross as well. Number 10. Fish Inside the Penis I'm pretty sure that most of you will take this entry as a baffle on my part, but believe me when I say that a small fish actually made its way inside the urethra of a 15-year-old boy. I am not lying. This insane incident happened in India when a boy went to the hospital complaining of pain in his bladder and an inability to urinate. The doctors did an ultrasound and discovered an object in the bladder, blocking his urethra. The miserable boy was immediately taken to surgery, where the doctors cut him open, and it was then when the doctors literally lost their shit. Completely. Because they found a two centimeter long fish lodged all the way up inside his bladder. Now, wonder with me, how did it get there? The boy said that he was holding the fish in his hand when he went to the toilet to pass urine. The kangaroo fish slipped from his hand and entered his urethra, after which he developed all the symptoms. Number 9. Worms Living Inside the Eye There is nothing that can get worse than something irritating your eyes, let alone worms living inside your eyes. But a 5-year-old boy in Honduras suffered the pain and irritation caused by this bizarre case of a botfly residing in his eyes. The lady botfly laid her eggs on the eye of the boy, and that started growing inside him. When the doctors came to know about this apparently very rare case of larval invasion, it was already too late because the larva was at a late stage and had camped out in his anterior orbit. It only meant one thing, surgery. The only way to remove the botfly was the surgical incision inside the eye of the boy. The poor kids bore a lot at such a young age. Number 8. Cockroaches in Ear Canal You might have heard of cockroach infestations in homes, but in the ear canal of a human? This person was experiencing severe itchiness and pain in his right ear and went to the doctors to get himself checked. Guess what doctors might have discovered? An infestation of baby cockroaches. The physicians concluded that a female cockroach had somehow entered the ear and laid eggs. When the eggs hatched, the insects entirely blocked his ear canal. The doctors told the man about the baby cockroaches living inside him and then operated on the poor victim to remove the insects from his ear. Well, I already was not a big fan of cockroaches, and now, after preparing this entry, I particularly detest them. Number 7. Botfly Maggots Inside the Scalp This entry will make you shiver and cringe, as this is another bizarre case of animal infestation in humans. The incident involved a man who had a very itchy scalp. At first, he might have attributed the itchiness to dandruff or something. But one day to scare the shit out of him, the lumps on his scalp started moving. The doctors were left perplexed because even they thought the itching scalp and lumps were a mild reaction to insect bites or something. But why the hell were they moving? It was only discovered later that the lumps were actually moving botfly maggots that were hatched inside the head of the person. A fly must have bitten the man and laid eggs in the scalp. The doctors performed an incision surgery on the poor man to remove the botflies from inside his skull. But this is not the only case of botflies infesting humans. There have been many reported incidents where maggots were found living in the nasal passages, gums, and the ear canals of human beings. Number 6. Squid, Sperms, and Mouth In 2012, there was a very strange case which reported that a woman got stung by the partially boiled squid she was eating. However, it was not a sting bite but rather the sperm sac of the animal and several small pods attaching themselves to her tongue. The poor woman from South Korea was left with severe pain after squid injected sperm into tissues of her mouth and was rushed to the hospital. This bizarre and shocking incident turned out more perplexing when the 63-year-old woman's tongue became pregnant after the bite essentially impregnated her mouth. Doctors had to surgically remove the resulting organism that grew in her tongue and cheeks. Number 5. Ant Colony Living in Head 
This is the story of a 12-year-old girl named Shriya Darja from India. The horrific tale started when the girl started having pain in her ear and complained about it to her father. After examination, doctors were left shocked and perplexed upon finding hundreds of ants living inside the girl's head. About a dozen or so ants were emerging from her ears every day. Doctors repeatedly pulled the creatures, dead and alive, from her ears, but the ants continued to reproduce and refill the space in Darcy's head. They even tried flushing her ears with antiseptic to drown the ants, and have tried several times to locate and kill the queen ant with laparoscopic cameras, but nothing seems to help. The ants keep reproducing inside her head and nesting in her eardrum canal. Number four, live snail in the knee of a kid. Snails are gross, but they get grosser if they start living inside your knee. During a family vacation in 2013, a then four-year-old kid, Paul Franklin, tripped and skinned his right knee at the beach. The family didn't bother it a lot and cleaned out the wound, but to the boy's dismay, the knee became incredibly infected after a few weeks. Doctors believed it to be a staph infection and treated it with antibiotics. The antibiotics, although, helped with the oozing of the knee, but a growing black bump underneath Paul's skin was a continuous source of tension for his mother. Out of frustration, she decided to squeeze the growth, and guess what? A sea snail popped out. Unexpectedly, Paul was so excited to see the snail that he opted to keep it as a pet and named him Turbo. Number three, woman's brain tumor turned out to be tapeworm. You might have a mixed reaction if you were told that your life-threatening diagnosis of cancer was flawed and it was a tapeworm that was living inside your body and causing all the symptoms. Rosemary Alvarez was convinced she had a brain tumor because she had all the symptoms ranging from blurred vision to numbness in her limbs. She went to the ER twice and had a CAT scan, but the results were all clear. Only when she had an MRI, it became clear that it was a parasite known as the pork tapeworm and was then surgically removed. Want to know something utterly gross? Someone, somewhere, had served her food that was tainted with the feces of a person infected with the pork tapeworm parasite, and through that food, the tapeworm went inside her. And now, let us move on to our subscriber pick of the day. This image was sent to us by a subscriber. Similarly, if you ever wish to know more about an image you come across, just send it to us. Who knows, we might even feature it in one of our videos. The pic shows a spider-like trail on a human arm, and although today's subscriber pic of the day is photoshopped, a spider actually lived inside a man. Yes, that's true. A spider burrowed its way into an Australian man's stomach. On a trip to Bali, a spider had made its way into the stomach of a man named Dylan Maxwell via an old appendix scar on his stomach. It traveled from his stomach up his torso, leaving a strange red line as a trail on Maxwell's body. Three days later, the man had the spider removed. Number one, a man and a nine foot tapeworm. A man made headlines when it was discovered that he had eaten a nine feet long tapeworm in a Chicago restaurant. Tapeworms are parasites and are often found in undercooked beef, pork, or fish. They lie dormant there until they reach the digestive system where they become active and then they latch onto the intestinal walls. There, they sit pretty patiently and wait for the next meal to come. They are the actual spawn of Satan. They feed off the hostess meals, digest them, and grow and grow and grow. In 2006, the man we're talking about named Anthony Franz had a salmon salad at a fancy Chicago restaurant. After the man felt a bit uncomfortable and went to a doctor for a checkup, doctors checked on him and guess what? A little while later, he had a nine foot long tapeworm removed from his intestines. Tapeworms can grow as long as 39 feet, which is almost as long as four basketball goals laid end to end. Which of the entries was most gross for you? Tell us in the comments section. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like and share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the amazing upcoming videos.